<laughs> That's him. So knowing about your boxing history, how exactly did you like mental with your poetry before every opponent? Uh, I just stopped picking up poetry. I was doing poetry when I was, uh, you know, as I grew up, I was getting better. I was as up and knocking guys out. So I started to get better with my poetry. That's what made me. I started clipping them on the end, understand? And it kept happening, man. I did, I did about seven or eight times. I did about seven or eight times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> so, which would, you, which would you say is your best strategy for fighting? My best strategy is uh, pretty much like my son would do. Uh, you know, I move. I move. Uh, I, uh, you know, I had a fast jab, like a fast combination, and uh, I was slick, I was clapped, I was smooth, so uh, I, was, I, was, I was good in the game, you know, uh, even when I fought Sugar Ray Lennon, I fought Sugar Ray Lennon with one hand, I had a headline pressure in my right hand. I fought him all night with a left hand. You know, uh, but I, I just say that uh, I can't take credit away from him because I still think he's the toughest guy that I fought. Because one reason it was one hand, it was that. But then again, you know, uh, a lot of the other guys that I have fought, none of them was able to. Get as many punches off as Lenny got on him. You know, it still was because of my incident with my hand, but, you know, I can't take credit from him either. He did what he had to do. So, and, uh, when I got in there, that's, that's uh, why I was up against, so that's what uh, I had to bear with. I had to do what I had to do. Did you do the poetry on that too? Uh, what? The ring is young, he must be tall. The joy of return is sugar to salt. Got any idea? Alright, so, do you think the younger Floyd Mayweather the senior would be the Floyd Mayweather, would be the current Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather Jr. In a, in a boxing match right now? Let me see this right here. Uh, <laughs> about all this Poets me with a senior, poets me with a junior, get put in my hand. <laughs> See, like I say, man, yeah. I'm going to I'm, 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 just let it go as it is. As of now, as of now, my son is the best. He's the best fighter right now of all time. And hey, if I would never know what would have happened if we would have been fighting. It, it, it would have been, I can tell you one thing, I can tell you, it would have been crucial and critical. And I'm just saying that, not all to me, but him too. <laughs> so I can say that, it would have been crucial and critical. So, yeah. uh, my, son, my son is a smart fighter, he's a good fighter. And, uh, the best player of the other day, so I can't take nothing away from him. You know, he's, and, and to be honest, man, to tell you the truth, even though I said it's been critical for me and him both, but really, man, I think the best thing is when we get, when we grow up, and we become father, and these are our kids, we want our kids to be better than us. Okay. Kids, right. Continue to 
grow. That's what I mean. Grow. And get better. 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 See, and that's why. That's why. Uh, and that's why my son is better than me. I will say because I want him to be better. But I want my son to be the biggest fighter in the world. That's what he is. So, so would you say your son being the best fighter is your best achievement? I think that I think that everybody's best achievement. And if you got a son, and he's the best fighter in the world, and making the most money in the world, hey, that's all you can get out of it. You can't get nothing out of it. Just, hey, and, uh, and he can get all those things. So. How would how did your childhood help you become the man you are today? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I don't think none of us know this one. <laughs> you got to copy up. I don't think none of us know this one. I ain't gonna come up with that like that. He gonna make Miss Ambrose come out. <laughs> But let me, let me say this, man. One thing that's true, I would say, is that I was, we used to box the grade school all the time. And I had, I had, I, I found, a, I found a, a, a punch that I could hit pretty much anybody with. And, and, uh, and it came to be that way. So what would you say be your biggest regret? My biggest regret? Uh, okay. That's a very good one too. My biggest regret, man, is... Uh, I mean, I would say that my biggest regret is that a lot of things that I did uh, in terms of my career, but it's out of my career, is that I ended up going to prison, and uh, I ended up going to prison, and uh, uh, you know, that's when my son was fighting this stuff too. He probably could have had this stuff. I'm ahead for now. He probably could have had this stuff. Yeah. Up three or four <laughs> years ahead. You know, than what he's doing right now. He probably could have had three or four years ahead. The fear that I when he got locked up. You know, it didn't do it. It, 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 it. it stopped a whole lot of things. It, 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 it took us back five. Uh, it took us back five or six years. And uh, that, that that stopped a lot of growing. But I will say that we still made it. So that's 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 the ultimate thing right here. We did make it. So, how does it make you feel knowing that while you were in prison, your family still took care of Floyd? How does it make you feel about your family? Well, uh, it's good that my family took care of Floyd, but it's, it was like this here. When I was out, I took care of my family. And that's why family should be family. Once something like this happens, I think I think it's only right for them to help my son. I help them. It's only right to do that. That's what family is. That's all the question I have. Good night, Jonathan. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. This is ATL 740 with Floyd Mayweather Sr. and we are signing out.